Okay, so here we have um, two examples of scientific notation. You can see we have a very large number and we have a very small number. Um, so this is two examples of why we would use scientific notation. Um, so we can see there's a coefficient on each one. So this is the number and it's always going to have a number between 1 and um, it says between 1 and 10, but it's between 1 and 9 um, because it can't be 0 on the front and it can't be 10. It can't be a, a two-digit number. It has to be a one-digit number. So we move the decimal place over until we get to that one um, essential number. That's called our coefficient. We always have it times a base of 10, and the exponent actually tells us is it a big number or a small number. So if it's a positive exponent, it's a large number. If it's a negative exponent, it's a small number. So it tells us it's a decimal or it's not a decimal. Really, that's what the exponent lets us know. Alrighty, so in this video, we're still looking at scientific notation, but we're looking at computing with it. So now we're going to um, multiply with scientific notation. Uh, so first, we want to do a few things. If you um, Number one, if you don't remember scientific notation or understand the format, make sure you go back and watch a couple videos um, before this one about scientific notation, positive numbers and negative numbers, so that you have that refresher, um, because that will definitely be very helpful in manipulating the numbers here and making sure that you understand what's going on. Um, so first, we're going to group the leading numbers together and the powers of 10 together. So we're going to kind of separate things out. Then we're going to multiply the leading numbers and then multiply the powers of 10. So we're going to use the um, product rule of exponents to add their exponents. So let's see, what does that all mean? So we have 4.4 or 4 .4 times 10 to the ninth power and 2 times 10 to the fifth power. So I'm going to group the two coefficients, that's 4.4 .4 and 2, um, on the, the front here. And then I'm going to group the powers of 10. I have 10 to the ninth um, power and 10 to the fifth power. So I have them grouped over here because they're, they're going to be combined in different ways. I am actually going to multiply the coefficients. 4.4 .4 times 2 is 8.8. .8, so I do multiply those coefficients. And then for the powers of 10, whoops, didn't mean to go to the next page here. What I want to do, since they're the same base, they're both a base of 10, I can add the exponents because there are 9 here and there are 5 here and everything is being multiplied because remember, um, exponents just mean repeated multiplication. So everything is being multiplied um, when we're talking about this. So I can go 9 plus 5 and get 14. So this is rewritten um, using the multiplication for scientific notation. All right, let's go ahead and practice a couple. And we have 2 times 10 to the 7th power and 3 times 10 to the 8th power. So we want to group the coefficients. That's the first thing we want to do is separate the two pieces. So we have our coefficients, 2 and 3, and then, oh darn it, it keeps going backwards. We have our powers of 10, so I have a power of 10 to the 7th, and then 10 to the 8th. So I've grouped them kind of more visually by color instead of using the parentheses, but same idea, we're just grouping them together. So 2 times 3, we get 6, and then remember the power rules, I have the base of 10, I can go 7 plus 8, and I just have to combine those. So it's going to be 6 times 10 to the 15th power. As long as this number is not greater than 9, so it can be any number between 1 and 9. I know a lot of the time when we're saying this on the notes it says between 1 and 10, um, but really it can't go to 10. It has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Um, so as long as that number is somewhere between 1 and 9, we are perfectly fine. We don't have to fix anything as far as moving the decimal place. Um, I believe we'll practice that on one of the other um, concepts here. All right, so let's do the same thing with this next one. We have 4 times 10 to the 6th power, 1.2 times 10 to the 7th power. So we're going to group the coefficients, 4 times 1.2, and then 10 to the 6th power and 10 to the 7th power. So 4 times 1.2, we get 4.8, and then we have the same base, so I'm going to add the exponents. So we get 4.8 times 10 to the 13th power. All right, so that was practicing multiplying um, in scientific notation. I hope that helped, and I'll see you on the next video.